With all the improvements that Williams have made this year, how nice is it to have your seat confirmed for 2022? Everything's just falling into place. Yeah, I mean, I think <laughs> what I've been saying is from the uh, from the selfish point of view, I'm, I'm very happy to be sticking around just because, you know, especially with the new era of Formula One, the yeah. new car, new regulations, and I'm really excited to experience that. And, you know, hopefully it will be a very exciting time for the sport. But then, you know, on the, you know, team side of things, I'm extremely happy to be staying with Williams. I mean, the, obviously the team that gave me my first opportunity in, in F1 and, um, you know, to have their trust to, to stay with me going into, again, what, what is going to be a very important time, I think, for the next three years, the kind of future three years of, of all the teams. So, uh, yeah, super happy to be around. And uh, obviously, focus is now back on, on this year, finishing it off strong. But, uh, yeah, I have a very um, <laughs> exciting uh, feeling going into next year. <laughs> That's great. And with Alex as well. How are you feeling about partnering with him next year? Yeah, I'm uh, really happy that uh, Alex is going to be my new teammate. I'm obviously happy for George that he's getting that opportunity because I know, I know I'm not the only one in the paddock that, <laughs> that knows he deserves <laughs> yeah. that opportunity with Mercedes. And uh, yeah, with Alex, I mean, I get along with him extremely well off track. Uh, and I think on, on track as well, we're going to have a really good uh, dynamic, you know, pushing each other very hard. I know how quick a driver he is from being his teammates in, in 2018 in Formula 2, which I, I did learn a lot from him in that year. And uh, obviously he has some good F1 experience as well and with, with top teams also. So I think uh, we'll make a, a very strong pairing. And obviously we're coming here to Monza. It's a sprint weekend. How are you feeling about that? Yeah, I think, you know, when we knew there was only going to be a few select rounds of the sprint yeah. quality format, um, I think Monza was a no-brainer to kind of have one of those because as, uh, as, as much as it's a sprint quality, it basically is an extra race. Yeah. And Monza is one of the best tracks for racing at just because of the nature of the high speed, uh, you know, the, the the big DRS zones at the heavy braking corners. So, um, yeah, I think it's going to be quite exciting. And as well, it's going to be very tricky in practice because it's, it's not an easy track to build confidence on. And this track is all about confidence with how low downforce you run and, you know, picking those braking points, you know, millimeter, centimeter perfect, let's say. So, uh, yeah, with only a one-hour practice session to dial everything in, I think it'll be a, a big challenge. And I'm expecting almost more a challenge than I was at, at Silverstone, which was already quite uh, quite an exciting one. So, uh, yeah, I think the fans are going to be in for a treat. Do you miss it then? Do you miss having those extra pra practice sessions? Uh, I mean, I, I personally don't miss it. I think it's it's definitely more challenging for everybody. But, uh, you know, I almost find the three practice sessions is, is too much. I mean, from a team, the team perspective, you want as much time as you can to dial in every little detail. But from a the racing driver perspective, you just want to get on it and get into the <laughs> sessions that matter. So, you know, we have an important session on each day now, which yeah. is nice. So you have obviously the main qualifying, sprint poly and race. And um, yeah, just kind of, you got to have to get straight onto it and not yeah. uh, dilly dally around. <laughs> so uh, that's, that's nice. <laughs>